Hey everybody, how you doing? Mary and the Barbarian coming back at you with Shave. Not really going to talk about products today. Instead, we're going to talk about, well, I guess it is a product. We're going to talk about the signature barber's razor of Shave and Butcher. The Focus Slim AL. So, I'm going to give this a use today. You know, give it a try because Johan loves it so much. He thinks it's the most beautiful razor he's ever seen. So, we're going to give that a go. Today is kind of a no prep shave. I did wash my face before I started the video. Um, we're going to use my Paladin Chief. See? Chief. How you doing, Chief? Well, that's not zooming in well, is it? Oh, bummer. Oh, well. Paladin Chief. Don't get me to lie on the knot size. I let it soak for 10 minutes, probably. They say that these brushes absorb water so well that you shouldn't have to soak them. You should just run it underneath. We're going to give it a flick. Hopefully there's not too much water in there. Wet the face. There's one thing I'm going to show. If you're a little like me and sometimes you want to buy some soaps and they've been gone for a while and you look around and someone has like new old stock or they didn't like it, used it once. Sometimes you buy a soap. It's like this, comes out. We're using, I am so going to butcher this, but this is Declaration Grooming Icarus Base. La Forêt de la Geist, I guess. Probably totally butchered that. Anyways, we're gonna use this today. I've used it once. See how it lathers. So, in honor of Johan, I'm going to tell a joke my grandfather always told, and eh, maybe a little risque, so I've got young ones. The punchline, you need to cover some ears. All right, there was this Russian wrestler, and he couldn't be defeated. Don't remember his name. Like I said, grandfather's gone, haven't heard this joke in a while. So... Russian wrestler had this pretzel hold, and undefeated, once he got somebody in the pretzel hold, see, I just slather it like this. Once I'm done, I'll rinse it and I'll set it on my soap dish. So, once the, this Russian wrestler got you in the pretzel hold, you were just done. So the American wrestler, him and his trainer, they were training every which way just to not get into the pretzel hold. He was just doing everything he could to figure out any way that the guy could come at him to put him in the pretzel hole. So, you know, he trained for months and months. They get out there, everybody's introduced. Ding, 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 you hear the bell. Next thing you know, Russian guy. He's got him in the pretzel hole, came at him in a way he just didn't train for. And so the trainer, he just started walking back to the locker room because he knew it was over. Nobody gets out of the pretzel hole. You're just, it's over for you, you're done. So next thing he hears, he hears the crowd just going, ah, he runs back to see what happens. And all of a sudden the guy's been training. He had the Russian guy pinned and he won the match. When they were walking back to the locker room, he goes, I mean, you were in the pretzel hold. How'd you get out of that? Nobody can get out of the pretzel hold. He goes, well, I was just sitting there going, how in the world did this happen? And all I could see was this big set of balls in front of my face. So I bit them. And it's amazing what you can do when you bite your own balls. Hope you guys like that. All right, so we're gonna get to lathering now that we got that over with. Sorry, if I cuss a little more today, guys. Had a few beers. Waiting for the kids to go to sleep. Two and a half year old, she memorizes the pages as we read them to her in books. And then she sits there in bed and flips the pages and says out loud what's supposed to be on the pages. She's not really reading, but that's what she likes to do at night, and I guess that that's what helps her wind down. Sorry, I'm dripping water everywhere. Give it a good go. I'm not necessarily worried about making a great lather. So guys, if you noticed my last video, 
I had some links at the bottom for the first time. I actually had to be taught how to copy links and put them at the bottom of the description of the video. Don't laugh. Come on. We know I'm the barbarian here. I mean, I don't know anything about technology. I just sit up here and I use command strips and hit record and I shave and talk. But anyways, he showed me how to do it. I'm actually going to link his channel at the bottom. He's helpful if you want to uh, look at laptops. Don't know what you want. Want somebody to give their opinion, tell you everything about it. It's got quite a few about that. Things like how to mount your TV on a brick wall. Um, how to fix your dryer. Talking to you, CDB. That dryer may not be far behind that washer. If you got a squeaking sound, you may want to look him up. So, anyways, I'm going to link him. And seriously, guys, I am, I am as old school about doing things as I can be. Man, this is just not doing what I want it to do. It's going to take a little longer, probably. I mean, so much so I promised this, the wife this weekend, after the kids go to bed, we're going to crawl in bed and watch BBC's Pride and Prejudice with Colin Firth on VHS. Yes, you heard it. VHS. And, I mean, I have like 500 vinyls that I put on the turntable. Obviously, if I'm at work or in my car, I'm listening to like Sirius XM, which I mean, that kind of dates me too. I mean, I don't know anybody that really listens to Sirius XM anymore. Um, but yeah, I just like doing things the old way as much as possible. We live out on quite a few acres and we've got like the smallest garden, but stuff like that's fun for me. All right, we'll see how this goes. May have to paint in some more water, guys. Last thing I want is a dry lather when trying to shave with a barber's razor slash shavette, whatever you want to call it, or a straight razor. If y'all noticed, I had glasses on in the last video. I don't really wear contacts anymore. See what Johan's talking about. This is the best. I mean, wow. It's really performing well. But I can't see Jack without glasses. And if I'm shaving straight razor or something, it really gets in the way. Oh, I do have a bump there. That's where I opened up last night. CDB would say, we don't count that. Yeah, I hit that bump. Got like one, two, three little bumps right there. Should have been paying attention. Let me get a few weepers. And y'all do have to understand. Ooh, I did. That actually may be a cut. That shouldn't happen with the edge of that razor. So those most definitely count. All right. And I will mention that we're still way less than 30 shaves with the straight razor. And that's some blood. Y'all don't want to see that, right guys? Give me one second. Filling off that bed, it's just not closing up. So who gets the last laugh here, Johan? You? Because I cut myself with what you feel is a funny looking razor and just think this funny looking razor could have cut up that handsome face of yours and we know you don't even want the funny looking razor because you don't have a funny looking face all right close that up a little 
I'm going to talk less with this. That might have had some issues over here. So the point, guys, is I'm definitely learning. when it comes to this. So new. And a lot of the times I shave, or I'm call, talking about under 30, some of these shaves I'm talking about, all I did was sideburn to jaw and then move to cheeks. And that's where I went with it. So I'm gonna go up. Yeah, go up with that. And I do like to rinse my blade. And I, Stallion says he rinses his and he just points it down and tries to keep water out of the scales. Or shall I say away from the pins? Sorry, this is my trouble area, guys. All right. Go up here. Now this that's still going is the bump. Alright. Sorry guys, totally forgot where I was. Alright. But as I mentioned before, I think the last video I was talking about I'd fit in another shave before Father's Day. I don't know what the hell I was thinking, guys. Father's Day is what? Another week and a half away, so I'm going to fit in quite a few more shades before then. So, my daughter was supposed to be taking a nap today. I came upstairs, heard footsteps. She's like, Daddy, I need to potty. I'm like, okay, let's go potty. She was in the bathroom. She's like, look. She had an accident on the floor, but she wasn't even showing me that. She goes, I picked out your shave stuff. Use the Rojo razor. We've been working on teaching her other languages. Wow, this is a shit lather. I may need to go back to that puck. What do you guys think? So, she picked out the shave she wanted me to use tonight and probably should have gone with it. She told me to use Ariana and Evans London, or shall I say the club. That's some good smelling stuff. But I just wanted to use this one so that I could show what I like to do with soaps that are hard and kind of separate and move away from the container. You can pull them out, lather them in your hand like a puck. I'm just going to move as much on my face as possible. Two passes. And I have very rarely done two passes with the barber's razor. I'm going to shave that. Or straight razor. And if you watched Johan today, I think he... Was it today? Oh, no. Well, most of us over lather because, you know, it's kind of annoying to have to go back to the pup. Well, I just lived it. It is annoying. You know what would have worked? If I had used the cube for pre-shave, then I wouldn't worry about not having a great lather. Like I said, I just really want it quick. We're trying to straight razor shave. Add some more. So yeah, I've never really used declaration grooming all that much. Um, I know I'll say this wrong. What is it? The Weinstreich or whatever it is. You've seen the chief talk about it if you watch my video. This one. I've used this one quite a bit. I love the smell. Got the aftershave. Got a real good deal. 
man, that's still bleeding a little. Well, we'll take care of it. I guess my daughter was right. She said, Rojo Razor, Allen Block. She always gets upset if I don't use that damn Allen, bo Allen Block. Sometimes I just don't need it. But, you know, two and a half year old, you can't negotiate with that. So guys, did not do well with this lather today. But, like I said, it'll be good enough, man. Look at all that. That's just really messed that up. All right. As long as it's slick enough, I don't care. It just needs to be serviceable. All right. We're going to try against the grain. I normally don't do it against the grain. But we're going to start. Sorry guys, I'm not effortless. I still have to put a lot of thought into. Where I'm going next. And straight razor shaving. It's very hard to talk at the same time. Ooh, not close. And I'm pretty shit with my left hand. It's just not for me. I've been trying to work on stretching. Watch Kai Triska's video and never occurred to me to do what he had done and it, that is just awesome. I get to work on skin stretching. Without having to shave. Which is great. Man, we all like to shave. But... Yeah, I go up that high because honestly, I have hair kind of grow down to here. People think I'm hairy. I really don't think so. I know a lot of hairier people than me. Hmm. Yeah, kind of giving up on against the grain on the chin. And no fool's pass.
I don't even do a fool's pass. With a DE. I will admit, after using this a few times, and the wet hair shaper. It's easier for me to use the wet hair shaper. Trim up around the lip just a little. Uh, it's where I'm working, guys, and it's it's worse with, worse with Chevette's. But all in all, that's actually pretty close. That's probably third or fourth time I've done two passes with the Chevette or a straight razor. So, that's really not too bad, guys. Still all gross. It's not gross, it's just foam, lather. But, I fully rinse the lather off, stand it up on my dish, soap dish, a little strainer at the bottom. Works great. Wipe off. So we are using the Allen block today, guys. So I've got PAA's Allen block. It's got like a rubber band on it for a grip. I don't know that you necessarily need it because Allen's grippy, right? But it's got a little rubber band on it. They just happen to be... Oh. <laughs> they just... uh Happened to be the people I was ordering shave soap from when I needed an Allen block. So, wet it a little more. Ooh, that is stinging, guys. Uh, got some little weepers down there. Well, definitely understand, guys. I am new, straight razors, and all that. So, you're definitely learning with me every time I bust out a straight razor. Because <sighs> if I'm putting out a couple of videos a week, I can't straight razor shave every day of the week. Just don't have time. And if I put one out with me straight razor shaving, that's definitely what I would call a practice shave. Yeah, it's a little bit of a memory line right there. Sorry, quoting CDB. Don't want to take credit for the memory line. All right, that feels a lot better. Which Hazel? I used T and Dickinson's. I hate the smell of Witch Hazel. It's unscented, but I don't like wasting and I'm gonna finish it up um, I was actually gonna show y'all another soap I got that way this is dr. John's eighth dimension and just pull it out lather it like it's puck um, it's I agree I don't like it when they shrink up and everything but if you get one and it just plops out use it like a puck um, so we did the witch hazel my wife enjoys this. This is Kenneth Cole Black Aftershave Balm. She got it for me. It is her favorite scent. It's, it's not a great balm product, but I'm going to put it on. Yeah. 
a little irritation here in the line. Sorry, don't mean to be boring y'all looking at the shave. I'm just seeing how I did. All right, got the balm on. Rinse the hands. Sorry this video is going a little long, guys. Whew. Crazy day today. Just a little bit. And I think some of that redness could be from this balm. When I use things like Kenneth Cole or other scents like that or Calvin Klein or something like that and they do an aftershave, they don't, uh, they really don't agree well with my skin. I always get a little bit of red irritation no matter what just from that. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to use some Zingari Man Sago Aftershave Balm. Everybody knows this is good stuff. Try looking at that cut underneath my nose. It's the one thing I'm working on really hard is to get rid of that cut. I'm trying to roll that wrist just right. But anyways, if you don't like blood, then you see I'm using a straight razor or shavette that day. May not want to watch because I'm learning, and part of the reason of doing straight razor shaves on video is so that people can give me tips, or you can just tell me, dude, you need to give up. You suck. <laughs> I mean, that's always the case. I mean, if I don't improve in a couple of months, and actually I should improve every day, but we'll see how it goes. Keep going all right. Got that white styptic off. You don't want all that white stuff underneath there. So let's recap. Butcher the name again. This is Chatillion Lux and Declaration Grooming Icarus Shaving Soap. La Forêt de la Geist. And the brush we use. Let me just go ahead and rinse it so it looks a little better. The Paladin Chief. I do like this brush. I didn't like it as much when I first got it. I really got it because I was looking to try a Paladin and I got a good deal on it. But I'm sure you can't see on the camera, but it pops. It pops really well. All right. Finished up Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements. Allen Block with Grip. Kenneth Cole Black Aftershave Balm. And... Add a little spritz of that. I keep this one in my car so the sun is faded the top. That's supposed to be black. So that copper at the top. Copper top. And what else did we use? Zingari Man Sago Aftershave. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along for the shave. Sorry about all the blood. Like I said, I am learning. Um, that's pretty much it. Y'all need to check out Johan. Go check out his raffle. Still going on to the 21st. $5. Awesome things. That's what I was going to mention. He added new items to the raffle. So he's got a couple of cool brushes. But if you really like unobtainium soap, you have to get Maddie's soap. I mean, it's got a unicorn on it because it's harder to get than a unicorn. So if you guys like the unobtainium soap and things like that, you really need to check out the raffle. And if I remember, I'm going to try to get links to all these things down below and I'll label them. So until next time, you guys have a great day and I'll catch you later.